Vino Black folks and we are at Nehemiah's webcam. The first thing I'm going to do is pull up the magnifier and what you're going to see and then we'll keep showing you the film and you will see the factual that that is what you are seeing right there blown up. It's a good You're seeing exactly what you're seeing. Vino's not playing with you at all. Blowing in some more. We'll keep blowing in as much as we can get. And then we'll pop out. And they actually go up hella high. It's just that once we get up so high, I want to be able to. Uh, Pretty sure it's the Suns from the Super Giants, uh, Alarath possibly. Alarath in the eastern sky right now. And then remember, this is at South Pole, Antarctica. So now what we'll do is we'll we're gonna pull out of this. Vino's not playing with you at all. This is in the sky. South Pole, okay. I'll never play with you. Always be the actual factual. So basically, these two sun videos that you keep on seeing in certain parts, at certain sunrises around the world and stuff like that. Yep, it's the suns that I've been telling you for a long time. We're getting the heat and the sunlight, and i.e. it picks up the earthquakes and so forth because our Earth, our skins on Earth and everything like that, our plates are getting more heat. And we'll pop out of that. We'll come down in size to like 400. As you see, it's there. And I was zoomed in on it. We'll keep coming out. It's taking a little bit longer to come out and everything like that because I'm trying to keep the clicking sound out. Oh, you're going to have to have a click. There you go. And there you go. And as you see, it's a 2100 hour. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go play the movie over here. And at 2.30 in the morning, you have these stars going down. Okay. And I'll just, and you, if you don't believe me, there's your stars. And I'll give you the time. 2100 hour. Okay. And I'll hit start. And move up. They went up behind the clouds. And then you'll see them going down over here. Like I told you, just showed you a minute ago. Okay, and then we'll have the sun coming up. And there went the sun coming up. Playing pretty fast, but it's at a good speed that we can sit here and watch the time and the clicker coming around. So the super giants you pretty much see coming up there. And I don't know why that happened. Getting a little bit of a glitch there on the plane, but we'll just it's going through so fast that yeah, and then we'll slow it down. Someone's doing giving me a little bit of help. Something. So anyhow. Here comes the sun. And there goes the sun, okay? Now at go through the day. This year, military time. Now here comes the super giant, or basically the sun going down and the super giants giving you there went the sun down again. So and play this through pretty fast, and now you'll get, uh, we'll get to 2100 hour again. And we'll freeze those suns coming up and going down. They'll go back through here pretty de decently fast. I won't mess with it. I'll go down and, and trap it when we get down to the 20, 
getting close, okay, so as you can see, you can start to see the super giants, how bright they are and everything like that, okay. And then when we're gonna I'm gonna go down to the size here so you know that I'm not cheating with you at all. Actually we'll go to 125 should fit in the screen. Nope, we'll go to hundred. And you're gonna see that basically you're gonna see those stars come up. And I'll back step it because it goes behind and then goes up into the clouds. See? There they are. And I'll back them out again. You watch watch your time here and also here. Okay, and then we'll make it come up. We'll go ahead in time because we were going back in time. There they are. see them go down. And those are those stars. Now they go down. And then we're going to end up getting the sun come up here. You're probably hearing my finger possibly. I apologize about that. But I don't got my microphone right now. Here comes the sun. And then the sun will go down. Basically going north, east to rise on earth. But South Pole, Antarctica, there you go, there's the sunrise. So, then I'll hit start and it'll play. And we'll get up to 21 on an hour and I'll glue, up, glue in it again. And you'll realize that we are getting sun bleed from more than just the sun. I.e., you're starting to see it come up right there late in the evening. Okay, I'm not even back it up. But it's also when the sun goes down, you see. And the sky did clear up a little bit too. So, as we go forward. And then I'll hit start. Then we'll get to our stars and we'll blow in on them. I'll bring them back. You know, we're more than likely super giants. And we'll go take a zoom in on them. We'll zoom back in on them. Because they go up behind the clouds and also get hidden behind the station. So, when we go to 200, you can see we're not messing with it yet at all. So, we'll go to 400. Scoot over. There they are. I'll give you the clock. Signature, there you go. Come back down. We're gonna go to 999. You can even see them at 999. You point to them and everything. You can see that there's more than one. So. NASA's yes, got a lot of explaining to do that they don't talk about stuff too much, so. Some kind of uh, mythical crap about who is a sun worshiper? You know, we all are. We like to sit in the suntan in the sun. So something like being on the beach on a long day, but they sure don't like to tell you about the other stars, which we know there's tons of stars out there. So. It seems like there's sun worshippers or something like that. So. Something's medievally hiding the actual scientific factual truth that we have this stuff right here. Okay? And I can go up in size like I did before. Stuff's all there. Leading through from the super giants. Been telling you about it for two years. So we are getting heat. I.e. beta gamma. And then we have Fuka fudge up too that radioactive doesn't help out at all. Because then this beta and all these rays from out in space. So anyway, there you go. You have other planets, right? And a red dwarf star, which I've never said that we have before. So, do we have a red dwarf star? Is that a red dwarf star where it's reddish to the left, and then the stars around it? 
dying stars because the shadows or the planets. NASA's definitely not telling us something. So I'm pretty sure it's just the stars from the supergiants bleeding through. So it's coming through our atmosphere and we're seeing it at the South Pole. I'm going to put this one up and then my other video. And I'll try to make another one to back up that other video. And yes, the shadows are not just from... Because they'd have to be right into the lens of the SDO cameras in order to be making uh, a shadow from their moon in the Earth to cover up the sun. Okay? So, someone needs to cough up what satellites... We see that... I showed you the AI A numbers. Okay? But let me, someone, needs to, someone needs to cough up the positioning of those satellites. Okay? Because I don't discount that the shadows of the moon and Earth going through the lenses of the cameras on those satellite shots. But when you are sitting here... And you, you know that there's remnants, basically, remnant stars that are up by the sun. Boom, boom, and boom. And watch my other next two videos. And then when we're looking at our map, we're always one IU away. A and B. This is A, this is B, and this is Earth. So what satellite is getting the shadows of Earth and the moon caught in their eyepiece? Okay? Uh, could be a shadow from Mercury right there getting in Kepler's lenses possibly but that'll be the next you know could be right now that could be what we were getting on the fourth the third and the fourth is the shadow of Mercury and not they sit in there saying that it's the shadow of Earth in the moon it could be a combination of Mercury Earth and the moon in the lens coming off of Kepler okay but this will be more actual factual that Bino knows his poop pretty darn good. It's not poop, it's actual factual data. Because this is in the sky from Earth. Okay? And basically, I'll pop out real fast at 400 so you realize where we're at. Give you, give you the shot. I'm playing with you at all. There we are. EMR. Let's get back in at 999. Somewhat apologize about the bang there. from human. And slide over. Take out the magnifier. We got that. Boom. So everybody's going to be getting their stellarium or whatever they like to look, look and view. Just remember, worldwide telescopes kind of too much art, artistic on worldwide telescope. Artistic. Some people would like to burn all the books too, so I don't want to. You never know who's humanistically human on Earth telling you a lie. Okay, actual factual being no black. We'll pop all the way out of this. We'll get into a 200 real fast. Up. We're at Nehemiah, ladies and gentlemen. That stuff's all going on, and I'll hit start and I'm not sure what direction we're going in going backwards let's give you forward so I'll post this up this is all actual factual sorry about being in front of it right there but we'll let it play to the end of the video so you know that this is all factual because there's really not much going down in the snow on the ground Take the rest of the video time up just watching this play through forward so that you know that you were seeing way more than one sun come up and go down. Do that or those are planets. And they sure have a nice luminosity going through our atmosphere at a thin atmosphere. Remember, the thin atmosphere at South Pole Antarctica right now. Okay, The atmosphere is always going to be thin down there or at the North Pole too. And there you went. You've seen our object go by and there it goes down. There it goes down. And then here comes the sun under the supergiants also. And there it goes the sun going down. And watch your clock up to the right. So. Thanks to the Nehemiah station down there. Beautiful. And you can even stop and freeze it and blow it up yourself. Take a picture, snapshot, get snapshot for your deal. It comes by pretty fast. 